Hello, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Actually, I'm gonna do this. There you go. Ooh, ah. All right, so um, I think we have a few first timers. Who's here for the first time? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I have some explaining to do. So uh, this, uh, this is our living room. This is, this is my house. And so my wife, of course, I should say our house, but my wife is not here. She's on her way to Scotland for the summer to visit with my daughter. But uh, so it's our house and this is the living room. So you enter through the dining room. We do have bathrooms. There's three of them on top of each other on one of every, on every floor. In case of emergency, you can get out this way or this way on the west side. If you're on the balconies, you need to come down because there's no, no good place to go for you there, okay? So, emergency, come down quietly, calm, calmly, and then exit through there or there. Okay, so, uh, and I will ask you to silence your cell phone. I've already done that, mine is over there. That's what you pay with if you swipe, it's my cell phone. Uh, and uh, what else? Uh, if you have a wine glass, lucky you, I don't. Uh, please keep it for the whole night and then bring it back to the bar before you leave. And I, of course, I'm going to be washing these glasses, but I hate to go hunting for glasses. So I just want to, you know, do the work in there. Um, what else is there? Also, your, your trash. Please, not in the bathroom trash, in the lobby or the dining room trash, okay? Uh, as far... F no flash photography, that, please. Like, you can silence your cell phone and disable the flash. But you're welcome to take pictures. You don't have to film it because I have four cameras here and I'm going to film it. So they're going to get a video of their performance tonight. So don't worry about that, you know. If you do want to do five seconds, you know, to, do, to put on whatever social media, that's fine. But you don't want to sit there and especially if you're in the front rows and I see that from my back cameras, you know, it's just annoying to see people with their phones up the whole time. All right, so um, you see some artwork here. Um, this piece is apart from the others. It's just an example of what you get as a reward if you get a business membership. You, got, you guys saw the, uh, the ads, right? So that costs $500 a year, and you get a piece of art on top of it, and it's tax deductible, and you get an ad on the, on the it's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Where's Joseph? Is that a good deal? Hey, Joseph, it's a great deal. He says it's a great deal. Oh, the other Joseph, the other Joseph. Joseph was there, he was up there. So um, I wanna, I wanna uh, uh, give a shout out to our volunteers, uh, our board members and our donors who are here, Matt and of course Wendy is a volunteer and a board member. Um, and Matt Minier is a donor and a volunteer and he's outside somewhere. And then we've got Benji of course and other volunteers. Um, who come in and out like as the night progresses and uh, at every concert. Now, we have a nonprofit called the Timucua Arts Foundation. We've been doing this for 18 and a half years. It's going to be 19 years in September. This is concert number 841. <laughs> and we have, I mean, I say concert, I should say event, you know, it's a concert in this case, but I mean, we have all kinds of things. Uh, poetry, you know, the plays, um, all kinds of things, and all kinds of music. For example, next uh, Saturday is a, is a school group playing on the, the afternoon, and uh, the Osceola School of the Arts, and then we have uh, on Sunday the Fernwood String Quartet, um, some uh, classical music and some, uh, well, more contemporary music, like uh, Schoenberg, either playing Schoenberg, with a soprano, Samantha Barnes, so don't miss that, she sings with, like, everybody. She's amazing. She's very good, um, and uh, and so and so on. Like we have uh, um, Daniel Giron, who's a trio. So with Mauricio Rodriguez. So we, uh, you know, Puerto Rican and, and Cuban musicians with Spanish influences on in this case, um, and so on. And so we have we try to offer the Puerto Rican and the uh, Latin X community here uh, something that some culture that they can enjoy and uh, which not everyone does, unfortunately, enough. And, you know, you guys, or the Latin community is what, 30% of the population here? They should have 30% of the culture, right? Yeah. 
And so we bring in people like Nesta Torres, we bring in people like the Neg Negroni Trio, like, and other people from, from Puerto Rico, so that uh, you don't have to go back to the island to get some of your culture. <laughs> And uh, also, you know, all, everyone who is displaced by Maria can get something that they like, you know, sometimes. All right, so the other paintings, let me get back to the artwork. The other paintings are from Orit Reven, Reven, and she's from Israel. And she works with pastel and or a lot of things, but tonight, and most cases, you prefer pastel. And, um, and so she's gonna be working live during the event, so just keep an eye on what she's doing. Oh, I'm gonna turn the lights on because so you can see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. There you go. And then if it's, do you need it higher? I can adjust it, just let me know. Um, and so as you can see, you know, we're a small venue and we're a small organization, but we do a lot with just a little money. And we hope that you're gonna feel inclined to support us. Uh, Wendy is holding what used to be a fishbowl, now it's a money bowl, and so we hope that you're going to feel compelled to empty your pockets into that bowl, and also if you want to give a major gift, like we had uh, two weeks ago, three, like almost three weeks ago, we were up to or down to $57,000 to raise before July 1st, and uh, now we're at 31000 so every day we get better <laughs> and closer to our goal. So if you want to donate big money, we will accept it. <laughs> All right. So any questions? Yes. Oh yeah, members. Like we have several membership levels, um, and our members, like the basic level, is a hundred dollars a year, and you get seated. You get to choose your seat. You get uh, let in the uh, the room first. And then also you get half off ticketed events and you get exclusive access to full length videos of past events and things like that. And so, and then every level, like there's a $250 level, the 500 level, uh, I, which I told you about, there's the next level, there's a whole bunch of levels. Don't be afraid to give a lot. You know, we'll take, we'll, we'll like, for example, we have a, also a capital campaign. We have so many uh, 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 projects to improve the quality of your experience when you come. And so um, if you're interested in giving to that, that would be beautiful. And so um, f without further ado, I would like to introduce you with a very unique person who is a Renaissance man, if I, can, if I say that. Like a lot of people say that because I designed and I built this place that I'm a Renaissance, I'm a trumpet player, by the way, <laughs> uh, and, uh, and a conductor and a composer, but, um, but I dabble in things and uh, this is one of the things that uh, happen when I dabble in them. And, uh, and, uh, but, but Joseph here is a playwright, he's a writer, he's a food critic, he's a, um, a jazz fanatic uh, and a supporter of jazz and improvised music. And uh, he's also in charge of helping us with um, programming anything that is not music because I don't know anything about literary uh, events or, uh, or theater events. And so he's very much responsible for bringing Elwes tonight here you're responsible. It's your fault. So please help me welcome Joseph Hayes. Thank you so much. Thank you. As Benoit said, this is a music house. Jazz, classical, folk. Um, anything that does not specifically fall under that parameter is what we call alternative. And that's me. So we've had theater productions. I've done four plays here of myself, and I have another one in June, next June, that will be another world premiere for this house. But I just wanted to say very quickly, some of the other things that are what we consider alternative, coming in June 23rd, Hannah Benitez, who is an up and coming playwright from Miami, who has five premieres of new work in the country so far this year. She will be doing a new reading of a work called Whitewashed, and that'll be here June 23rd. June 27th, local playwright Jeremy Seegers is reversing the setup of this house where the audience will be on stage. <laughs> and three playwrights will be doing their material on each level of the house. <laughs> and then it'll all come together in a fourth piece right in the middle. And none of the playwrights know what the other one is writing. So it all comes together at the end. That is June 
Seven. Thank you. August 25th, we have new spoken word curated by Sean Welcome, who does a open mic spoken word night uh, in town every week. And then December 8th, we have the 10th anniversary of the Love Your Shorts Film Festival out of Sanford. And this will be a retrospective exclusive to the house. Uh, so that's what's coming up. And if you go to timucua.com, you can see the entire calendar. You can see things that I don't even know about yet that might just pop up. Um, I like to come up and play with jazz bands and, and throw them the challenge of backing me up. So it could happen at any time. It's not going to happen tonight because my dear friend and collaborator and creative person uh, is bringing this show here. And I'm, I've got chills and goosebumps just sitting here watching them warm up. So I'm very excited to see this. Paul Castaneda. <laughs> And good night. No. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here with you tonight um, and to have the wonderful artists that I get to work with uh, with you tonight. Um, we're going to be doing a concert version of a show that we put together a little over a year ago called A Wiz, which is a completely different take on the Wizard of Oz story. Um, we'll have two characters that will do uh, little vignettes in between scenes, and then I will explain what would happen in the scene because we're going to concentrate for tonight on the music and the message uh, of the piece. Um, this particular take on El Wiz is set in Puerto Rico uh, as Hurricane uh, Maria hits, um, and Dorothy is transported to New Yaz. So we hope you enjoy going uh, on, a ver on a journey with us and uh, with all the fine uh, actors and singers that I get to work with on a regular basis. I'm blessed, thanks for having me, and uh, let's get on with the show. El Wiz, a new Latino-American musical, conceived by Juan Cantu and Paul Castañeda, book by Paul Castañeda, music and lyrics by Juan Cantu, Paul Castañeda, Josh Ceballos, Zoraida Elmore, Crystal Lazardo, Francesca Mitchell, Eric Parafan, Thomas Rivera, and Elston Torres. Act one, scene one. We hear sounds of Puerto Rico, beaches, cities, barrios, quickly give way to sounds of storms and voices of panic and worry in English, Spanish, and Spanglish. We hear news reports of the impact of Hurricane Maria. We see in half light and flashing light our characters all calling and searching for each other. This leads us into... <laughs> call out for Dorothy to watch out, and there is a crash, then silence and darkness. Slowly, lights rise, and we hear peaceful nature sounds of the island as we fix our view on Tio Enrique. September 20, el día más largo, the longest day of my life and the life of most of the people on my beloved island of Puerto Rico. 
so much loss, so much devastation. We will bounce back. Tenemos que sobrevivir. Even now we band together to find food, shelter, a sense of normal. We pray for those that we have lost and for those still fighting to live on. He walks to a bed where Dorothy lies peacefully in an almost dreamlike state. This is me, Sobrina, my niece Dorothy. She was hit on the head with debris. And we've been waiting for a smile to light up our lives again. Dorothy, soy yo tío Enrique, te quiero mucho. She'll be back. Her spirit is as strong as my brother Emilio's was. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. Before we could take on Dorothy's journey, we must first meet the Ciudadano of Arvario. During, they, this, during this sequence, Tio Enrique will walk to different areas of the stage and lights will come up on the different characters as he introduces them. This is mi pana Eddie. Oh, a hell of a boxer and a corazón as big as the island. Always taking on free work as a handyman between matches. He collects IOUs that are never paid. Beyond the plate of Lechonia, Hogan, and Dule. He could have been a campeon in a ring, but he never forgave himself for bowing out of a gang fight that left his boy Sergio, well, cambiao, forever changed. And this is Juanito, the best mechanic on the island. He used to be one of the most fun-loving peoples out there until he made a mistake of falling in love with the wrong hombre. Many in this barrio, including his querido, just aren't ready for that kind of change. And me, Chico, one of the quietest citizens in town. Ah, Chico's a good kid. Uh. He's got, um, uh, as bigger, as bigger, I can't sabe como se dice. <laughs> anyway, he's a little unusual. He sees the world a little different. Most of us don't care, but he seems to win well. That tends to scare people off as a result. And aquí tenemos Anita. Oh, what can I say? <laughs> Anita's never met a cloud she didn't like or a person she couldn't criticize. <laughs> Always involved in bochiche, problema. I think she's a bit amarga that she never left the island when she had a chance. Ah, and here we have mi amor, Amelia, my wife. Ever since Dorothy's parents died, first one and then the other, Amelia has dedicated her life to raising that dear child. Speaking of Dorothy... Oye, you're... Enrique, ¿cómo estamos? Listen, bro, I got a line on some generators super cheap that I thought I might come in handy for you and some of the patriotas in El Barrio. Of course, I pass all my savings to you after a slight profit. Uh, these wouldn't happen to be one of the generators that were missing from the aid center a few days ago, were they? Enrique. Cuantos años? How many years have we known each other? I can't believe you would insult my integrity in this way. Relax. Can relax. I'm relaxed. <laughs> that was Manny. Or as we call him, Manny got the hookup. <laughs> He's always involved in some plan or scheme that seems to be in my best interest, but ultimately is in his. Uh, he's harmless. Aside from his uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda obsession and... Uh, it's a bit funny, but um, watch your wallets. <laughs> anyway, where were we in this cuento? Oh, see, sí, Dorothy. Well, it seems while we were trying to put our lives back together, worried about her recovery, Dorothy was on quite the adventure in some other place, maybe some other time. It all started the night Maria hit. From here, we go to a change to a bedroom where Dorothy would be sitting in a room and have a scene with Tia Emilia and Tio Enrique talking about some of her frustrations with her interactions with Anita and also with feeling a little trapped from being in the island. After her uncle leaves to have a cafecito, Dorothy stays behind with her aunt and they go back and forth about her desire for something a little bit beyond the island of Puerto Rico and that launches us into our next song.
to feel sorry for Yo tengo mis encantos, mi amor Although I'm thankful for familia I've got to get out of Mi isla is all that I know But I've got to grow Cause there's so much more to me And when I get then I'll be home. They say a storm is brewing out at sea, but there's a bigger one inside of me. My parents may be gone, but not their strength. It lives in me. me After the song, Thea and Dorothy have a conversation about Dorothy's parents, what she remembers and doesn't remember having lost them so many years ago in her youth. And during that sequence, Dorothy mentions a song that her father used to sing to her to put her to sleep. Que lindos deditos. Hoja de palma, las ondas del pelo se van hacia el mar. Qué lindos deditos llenos de arena y con las piernitas salimos afuera. Afterwards, Tia helps Dorothy fall asleep by repeating her version of the same song. Dorothy does fall into a fitful sleep, as the, and as the storm sounds continue to grow, there are crashes, fearful echoes, and Dorothy awakens, she believes, and calls out for her mother, who appears by the second stanza of the song. Thank you. 
Mom slowly fades away in a change of lights. The storm returns, her bed is lifted and spinning. Blackout and crash, lights up on the vibrant city of New Yaws. Dorothy is on her bed, from under which lie a pair of legs and Nike-covered feet. <laughs> As Dorothy awakens to the circumstances, the Yazians appear to greet and celebrate her, and they do so, after a little exposition, in song. song, Bruja Buena Que Linda appears to greet Dorothy and lead us into a sequence that introduces not just her and her witches, or brujitas, but some other brujitas. Ah, 
on the door. Do I just walk? Well, you can, but you can also spice it up a bit, you know? Oh, you spice it up, como que? Como dale! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, now what? Put the whipper in your stepper, and you might get to meet El Wiz. Put el tumbao. I'll show you how, and you might get to meet El Wiz. Put some ganas, like my panas, sana, sana, colita, <laughs> Like timbale. Dorothy marches off down the road, encouraged by the Yazians. Lights up on Theo, talking to the audience. And so it was that Dorothy set off on her mission to find Elwes at the Teatro de Richard Rogers. <laughs> Could this be any more heavy-handed with the Lin-Manuel references? Audience member Plant. Agreed. And another thing, everyone knows there's nothing wrong with Anglo-Americans playing Latino roles. Nothing at all. Why, Mira, just the other day... Vete mal carajo, you Starbucks-drinking, Whole Foods-shopping, Prius-driving gringo! The days of Anglo-white girls starring as Evita are over. Well, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Lights up on Scarecrow, alone, 
struggling with the issues with his mind and his relationships with those around him or lack thereof. It leads us into this song. I give my right arm to have your mind Cause when I start to think my thoughts They all get intertwined I've been here forever, at least so it seems Watching from above as wingless birds live their dreams I feel like a monster, the scary never ends Don't want to scare the pajaros Porque ellos son my friends I just want to be understood The way I feel is no good If they can see inside my head Then they would understand Just take my hand Because my mind is a wonderland Inspired but stuck my mind lacking the words Longing to express but never being heard I've been colgando on that hook my whole damn life No one had my back but my back had a knife I just want to be understood the way I feel is no good If they can see inside my head then they would understand Whoa, if you could feel the rhythm that is blazing a trail through my whole head Then you would finally be able to see Take my hand because my mind is wonderland. Just take my hand because my mind is wonderland. In the scene after, Dorothy is able to convince the scarecrow that perhaps there is a home for him if she'll just join her on the road to Eloise. They set off together, and then Theo joins us again. And down the road, the two new friends set off, searching for a place called home where they could Boy, find it. Boy, sabe que the bodega got destroyed in the storm? Yep, just saw Sonia, he told okay, me. Okay, okay, you, you really gotta stop with all these references. To Look, man, what? we get one shot to tell a story. Make them feel something and be Latino. If I can't mention the living, breathing, Tony Award generating Latino as a point of reference, then Enough! If now you listen to me! Coño, now you have me doing it! <laughs> Sorry, mi gente. Now back to our story. The scene will then, will then shift to the Bruja Mala lair, where we find Bruja Mala and her brujitas licking their wounds from being defeated by the Brujas Buenas. Bruja Mala tries to inspire her troops by reminding them of where she was and how she found them and inspiring them to use all of their powers. And this leads us to this first song. Up, wait a minute, listen to what I say. You're too good for this stuff. You can't be acting this way. Time after time, I was a fool. I was a sea for a friend. I didn't want to know the truth. I didn't want it to end. I put a stone on my sleeve, so dumb to believe. Broken, bitter, and bruised. There was no reprieve. I had to make a decision or I was gonna start to fall apart. I said, I feel the wall around this heart. So now I'm bad, cause of all the things I never had. I got so sick and tired of being sad. So I got mad, and now it feels really so darn good to be bad. And if you don't know, now you know, temor. Y si tú lo sabes, pues ahora lo sabes. My life was rough, kept feeling that I would die, so I'd get tough. And then these tears, they would dry, I would rebuff all that empty love. Push all those feelings down because I had enough. Got sick of all those people lying and trying me. All the palabras they would say, they wouldn't let me be. Can't believe it took so long for me to see that there was only one thing that I could set, do to set me free. All the things that I never had I got so sick of being sad And it feels real so darn good to be bad And if you don't know, now you know they more Oh yes, I had the same, yeah, you know you were right They would be one in my face and different out of sight They were all duplicitous and they make fun of my stutter Because of that you couldn't understand the words that I'd utter They didn't care that the deceit was only making it worse They were medacious and sincere were compounding my curse So I flipped it all to bad and put my curse in reverse Can't you see that I won't have nobody? 
Properly inspired by that song and recovering from the reader, um, Bruja Mala comes up and sings, the, sings us into intermission with this song. version of our show, this would be the end of Act 1. We will pick up with Act 2. The lights will come up on Tin Man, alone, on the road, chucking bottle caps. Dorothy and Scarecrow stumble upon him as he sings a riff from Kissing a Fool. And after a brief discussion, he sings a song to explain where he is and what happened to his heart.
news, just keeping this inside. I'm so afraid I've lost my pride. Stay with me. I need your love so desperately. Stay. After a discussion about love and having a life worth living with love, Dorothy and Scarecrow are able to convince the Tin Man to go with her on their journey, which brings us back once again to Theo. And so our ragtag team of heroes jetted towards. You're a jet, you're a jet all the way. <laughs> you ever notice all the cool gang dances in West Side or Jets? That's what happens when you don't have Latinos in the room where the choreo happens. Okay, careful, careful. You don't want to come off as an angry Latino. Huh. Angry Latino. You mean that tired trope used by non-Latinos to avoid debating and engaging us on the issues. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that. A subtly that racist move, sometimes employed purposely, sometimes subconsciously, through years of conditioning by a culture heavily invested in maintaining control and power in whatever means necessary? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I think everyone knows this is a cute, New musical, not meant to push the boundary on Latino issues in any way. I got nothing. <laughs> on their way to meet Elwiz, Dorothy and friends encounter Flying chupacabras. <laughs> Who explain that they exist because of copyright issues with flying monkeys. Um, <laughs> and threaten to attack Dorothy and her friends unless she gives up her magic kicks. Just as things look terrible for our friends, the Brujitas Buenas appear to save the day.
the strap and sorrow. Put one foot in front of the other, and then maybe there'll be a better tomorrow. Oh. The song does the trick. The sheer joy and inspiration of it sickens the chupacabras and they disappear. <laughs> yes, I actually wrote that. <laughs> the friends continue on their journey and once again, Theo appears. And so after that close call, our amigos headed off towards- Yo, Enrique. <laughs> we got some issues, man. Que pasó? We got a cease and desist from Lin-Manuel's peeps. They saying we too, Hot and heavy with the references. Mano, I've been trying to tell you. Pero okay. que what do we do? No sé. I got it. Oh, what? Dímelo. Let's just do what so many fine theaters nationwide do when confronted with the need to cast their shows with ethnic appropriate actors. Cool. What? Ignore it and do whatever we want. <laughs> Lights up on Lion, Leon, alone, drinking, under a bridge, reliving a moment in time when he couldn't do what he felt was right, leading us to this song. In this state, in the state I've been so long, I'm covarde, Leo. What's the use of being strong if I can't even right or wrong? There's no use. I didn't stand and stop the abuse, and my best friend I did lose. Fight for him, I didn't choose. Soy cobarde, tan cobarde, too shame for me to stay in the home I've had always. Muy cobarde, I couldn't look them in the eyes, tan cobarde, and now myself I despise. Now it's too tarde It's too late for me to be anything else El león cobarde That's me Confronted by Dorothy and her friends, Lion first acts like he's going to rip them, arm from leg, and then immediately cowers in the corner when confronted by Scarecrow. Eventually, they become friends and set off on the road together to meet El Wiz. And once again, Theo picks us up. So together, they headed down the road to their destiny, not aware of one final challenge they are left. Ay, que sentimental. <laughs> Mira, it's a family-friendly show, so we know the good guys win in the end. Unless Castaneda and Cantu injected some kind of dual BS to connect to Hamilton. Nah, they wouldn't stoop that low, would they? Quien sabe. But probably not. Nah, this is the year of the Latino. Or at least using a super successful original Latino musical to soak patrons for money. 
Am I right? Anyway, I'm out. Hey, hey, you know Orlando Shakes is doing a Vita, right? They might need a Che, you know what I'm saying? Mira, shit. I am not throwing away my shot. Okay. Feel me? Great. Another reference. You, you know what? I could do it too. Yeah? Watch. And so we rejoin our newly formed familia, and their plan is to fan this spark into a flame. <laughs> oh, come on, I could play James Madison at least. In the next scene, on the road to El Wiz, Dorothy and her friends are again confronted by Bruja Mala and her brujitas. And every time one of her friends step up, the brujas are able to put a spell and remove them as they, come, as they come to attack Dorothy. Over time, Dorothy's mother also appears to try and protect her, as do the, bru the brujas buenas and the brujitas buenas, to no avail, as the brujas malas now seem to have the upper hand. But just when things seem like they're hopeless, Papi appears with some help. After the song, Papi is able to convince the Bruja Mala and her Brujitas to give up their evil ways and join as one family, one familia, in New Yaz. Dorothy, having met up with her dad and her mom, is conflicted as to what she should do next. Should she stay here with her newfound family or try to get back to the island? And that brings us to the following song. for this moment Are you proud of who I've become When I lost you I had no direction I didn't know where I could belong So what happens now now that I found Everything I've ever wanted And what happens now Now that I'm here with you There's no place like home There's no place I'd rather be There's no place like home But now that you're here with me I'm no longer alone Because with you I'm home Could I ever leave now without you? With a bond like this that's so strong Transcended through time and dimensions You've been right here all along So what happens now, now that I've found everything I've what happens now, now that I'm here with you, there's no place like home. 
can't leave here alone because with you Niña preciosa como te adoro Eres mi alma y mi corazón How I wish we could be together, together. Have you forgotten you're never alone? So go, niña, go a camino mario de brick. Go find a whiz, and he will take you Dorothy makes her decision, and with the blessing of her parents and all the Niazians, she sets off once again to meet Elwiz. As they depart, lights come up once again on Theo Emilio. And so Dorothy headed to her final destination, confident that all would work out in the end. Isn't this where Manny is supposed to interrupt me with another Lin-Manuel reference? Okay, fine. Insert your own Lin-Manuel reference here. I mean, okay. Just breathe up. Miranda! In the heights, in the culo, I'm out of here. Lights will come up on the Teatro de Richard Rogers where we find Maga Carla and Maga Tomasina talking to a still hidden El Wiz, where he demands to be lauded for his greatness. And when he feels that they aren't being kind enough to his immense talent, they break off into this song. <laughs> After that techno extravaganza, <laughs> Dorothy and friends arrive, and Elwiz's hench women hide as well. 
They then confront Dorothy and his booming voice tries to dismiss them. Toto pulls a, a carpet, not a carpet, uh, <laughs> a, a hidden chamber and releases El Wiz, who's really just an embustero, a plain old con man. Incre incredibly disappointed, the team asks for how they're supposed to get back home. El Wiz does his best by giving Tin Man a cheap heart pendant, Scarecrow a mask to wear, Lion a water gun, and takes out his phone to call Dorothy an Uber. <laughs> Seeing that they're disappointed, El Wiz launches us into this song. The looks upon your faces are concerning. This was a tough journey. Ah, so you came all up this way. Was I confirming? Uh, I guess me and my friends are all still worried. Send your wish to me. What's this? A real heart was all I wished. One so big it couldn't fit in a giant's pocket. But I'm no different than when I lost it. This is crazy. He made me hold it. Not what I meant when I said I need courage. And the mask gonna ask for a million mind. What are we gonna commit a crime? I are also needy. Senor, please, we need you to make magic, make magic, make magic, please. Do something, Mr. Wiz. Listen, I did all that I can. It's clear this man cannot fool you. Somebody else belongs on this pedestal. And when that crowning comes, You'll all be attending It's nearing the time for my descending Hey, don't you run from this task at hand Deep inside you're a different man Not someone who thinks a gun and a mask and a pendant So Nova Potter starting your descension And as for this Uber ride You're no genie but I want my wish Why are you acting like a punk? I can see it in your eyes But you really couldn't call me a lift What I need and I seek is to go home We really couldn't care less about this gold throne I swear I'm trying my best not to fret We beg for a bone Do we need a play? Send them on their way before Las Brujas wreak havoc. We trust that you can make magic happen. We trust that you can make magic happen. We trust that you can make magic happen. I'm gonna tell them that supersonic. I'm gonna tell them that these gifts are symbolic. Take a look at what shines inside it. Listen, listen to the voice that's calling. While I'm confident of being honest, ready to tell them that these gifts are symbolic. Let's take a look at what they got. Take off like a piston. Listen to the voice that's calling. Don't yes, he's screaming at me supersonic. I'm gonna tell them that these gifts are symbolic. Take a look at what shines inside. Listen to the voice that's calling. Follow my feelings, being honest. Ready to tell them that these gifts are symbolic. I got this. I can make it. Senor, please, we need you to make magic. El Wiz speaks to each one of the friends, helping them understand that what they were looking for was already within, and having them step up into new responsibilities in New Yaz as they move on and move forward with their lives. Dorothy, being told that all she has to do is click her magic kicks three times in order to get home, struggles to say goodbye to her new friends in order to go back to her family and friends back on the island. After saying some touching goodbyes, she does exactly that, transports herself to Puerto Rico, where she wakes up in bed, surrounded by Tio and Tia. They explain that the island was destroyed while she was out, but that they will rebuild what once was, which leads us into this song. Some orphans who feel sorry for A window opens when they close the door We need someone like you and I believe You'll set us free And this together we will always be Have faith and hope and you will truly see 
This Isla needs our people to step up its destiny. This Isla, nuestra Isla, Isla del Encanto that we adore. Our Doesn't mean I'm less than I can be myself then in my own way. I can be myself now, first not on the shelf now. I can let love in. Cobarde, yo no soy cobarde. Rebuild my 